All right, Gina, as you mentioned off the top, this is our final show of 2017, and you know what that means. Mm, what? It means that this is our last opportunity to feature the top 59. <gasps> what? But we've only done it a thousand times. 15 to be exact. This is show number 16, so we've done it 15 times, but it's worthwhile. I mean, these are the best public courses in Canada, meaning best courses our viewers have a chance to play, so we got to feature them in case they're trying to build their own personal bucket list for next season, right? Okay, you're right. Well, let's do it. Our last Last and right. final, <laughs> Top 59. Canada's Top 59 Public Courses is brought to you by Golf Town, your destination for everything golf in Canada. Visit one of their 48 locations or golftown.com for all the latest gear and top brands. Whether you're prepared to push the envelope and play golf even in single digit temperatures over the next two months, or you're preparing your bucket list for next spring, our 2017 Top 59 Public Golf Courses ranking is here to help. Here's one last roundup of the Top 10. Canmore, Alberta, Stewart Creek cracked the Top 10 for the first time. And why not? Resting at the base of the majestic Rocky Mountains, it awes golfers with its stunning scenery and excellent routing. Toronto-based architect Doug Carrick has numerous designs stretching across Canada. And one of his best courses is in BC's Okanagan Valley where he created a splendid, dramatic, roomy, and enjoyable course, the Ridge at Predator Ridge. During the winter months, Panorama is a world-renowned ski and snowboard destination. But in summer and fall, golfers flock to Grey Wolf, one of Canada's best courses. It will forever be known and remembered for its awesome par three sixth hole, Cliffhanger. It's one of the best one-shotters in Canada. On the other side of the country, there aren't many courses prettier than Humber Valley, which features holes high above and adjacent to the rushing Humber River in Newfoundland. Doug Carrick created something very special at Muskoka Bay Club. With dramatic tee shots, rocky outcroppings, tree-lined fairways, and perhaps his most intricate set of green complexes, it is the creme de la creme in Muskoka. Stanley Thompson is believed to have been most proud of his Mountains and Oceans course in Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Carved through mountains, valleys, and sitting next to the Atlantic, the journey that is Highlands Links is unsurpassed. The Fairmont Banff Springs is one of many Thompson masterpieces in this country and is a course that deserves a spot on every bucket list. While each hold is great, the par 3 fourth, the Devil's Cauldron, is a national treasure. Cabot Links lies on sandy soil between the town of Inverness and the Atlantic Ocean and offers golfers a wildly fun, authentic Links experience like hundred-year-old haunts found in Scotland and Ireland. The Rod Whitman course is sensational. Jasper Park Lodge is another gem designed by Stanley Thompson that many would argue is the most fun in Canada. Spacious, sceny, quirky, difficult in spots, but also relatively easy on the scorecard, Jasper Park always makes for a great day. Finally, we head back to Cape Breton, where Cabot Cliffs offers a variety of stunning holes in a variety of landscapes. A platinum status album filled with ingenious golf holes, amazing vistas and opportunities to conquer heroic shots. There's a reason it's at the top of our list and that's because it's a must play for any fan of the game. So there you have it. This closes out Canada's top 59 public course ranking for 2017. But get ready for 2018 as we'll once again unveil Canada's top 100 golf courses, the 100, which includes both public and private courses. You won't want to miss it.